hey everyone welcome back to the channel hope everyone is doing well today my topic is wazu but the scenario and configuration is different as always today i am going to present you how you can create and map internal user in your wazu server and in the main topic and main configuration we are going to do uh, we are going to do that creating and set up, setting up a wazu admin user so this is the part where from where configuration is going to start and we are going to follow these steps so we are going to follow these steps we are going to create and setting a wazu admin user first of all we have to log in to the wazu dashboard as administrator i am going to do the same then the next step is click the upper left menu icon to open the option go to the indexer management then security and then internal user to open the internal user page let's this wazu api version or the wazu gui get ready so this is our dashboard we have to go to this main menu and go to then this indexer management option in that i am going to click on this security button so at that page we have to click on this internal user as told the next step is click create internal user provide a username and password and click create to complete the action so i am going to create a new admin user by clicking on this create internal user button and let's name it admin test because i already have the admin user so i am going to name it as a test and we are going to type a difficult password for the creation of new user because if you see password should be at least eight character long and contain at least one upper case one lower case one digit and one special character and some instructions for username were also available username must contain 2 to 50 characters valid these 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 and unicode and we have to click on this create button so the admin test user has been created if you see here what is the next step to map the user to admin role follow these steps click the upper left menu icon this as we have done already to open the option go to the indexer management security and then roles to open the roles page we are already over there and just we have to change this tab and click on this roles button now search for all access role in the role list and select it to open the details window so i am going to copy this and search for this role the so uh, this role is a built-in one and already available so we have to open it and click duplicate role assign a name to new role then click create to confirm the action we have to duplicate this role and select this and click on this and then click on this duplicate button all access copy right then create click create to confirm the action so we are going to click on this create button and to confirm the action and this role has been created from all access which is the built-in one role available in our wazu server click the duplicate role assign a name to the new role then click create to confirm the action so i am not going to change a name because uh, it, it is changed from the built-in one all access copy 
select the newly created role select the map user tab and click manage mapping so we have already selected it and we have to select map user and click on this map user and select the newly created user and click on this map button this admin test user has been mapped to this all access copy role now add this user you created in the previous step and click map to confirm the action i have done that a notice that reserve role are restricted for any permission customization you can create a custom role with the same permission or duplicate a reserved role for further customization so that's why they have provided some instruction that you don't have to use the built-in all access role you have to create a duplicate one with the new name or you can go with the same name and made changes in it according to your requirement to map the user with wazoo follow these steps click the upper left menu to open the menu on the dashboard to go server management security and roles mapping to this page well, now we have to go to the server management where it is here it is and next we have to go to the security tab and then roles mapping to open the page this is the roles mapping it is open now click create role mapping and complete the empty empty fields with the following parameters so i am going to create a new role mapping and assign a name so we have all all access copy role available so i am going to follow that name in it and at the end we are doing the mapping so i have named it with the mapping now role select administrator so i am going to select administrator select the internal user created previously we have to select that user no this the this one admin test and click save role mapping to save the map the user with wazoo as administrator so i am going to save role mapping so a new role mapping has been created and can be seen here now what we have to do next for the role mapping to take effect show make sure that run as is to set true in this configuration file i have already done done that uh, i am going to show you just for the confirmation for this part we have to access our wazoo server using cli and now we have to open this configuration file and you have to go to the end of this configuration file and what it is guided us that run as is set to true i have already done that and now what we have to do next restart the wazoo dashboard service and clear your browser cache and cookies i am going to restart wazoo dashboard for the purpose of these changes could take place the wazoo sir wazoo dashboard has been started successfully and it is active and running now i am going to log out this admin user because the wazoo dashboard service just has been restarted that's why it take a bit time to get things ready now we have to use our newly created user admin test and the password 
and after that we have to press the login button we have successfully logged in and we have if you want to see the role what we have we have all access role and these available and if you go to any of the tab this is how you can create an admin user for your wazoo server hope you guys understood the configuration and instructions please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends colleagues and students please support me and my channel until then thank you for watching goodbye